Hey YouTube, it's Lewis with Rosebud's Travels. On our last trip to the Smoky Mountain National Park, we were at one place where the static electricity buildup was quite large, and when we attempted to reset the thermostat, it shocked. Um, there was a, a static charge that went between us and the thermostat, and then we noticed that, you notice that the letter is only partly there, or the number, and you see the numbers are only partly there. So it's making it hard to tell what the number is. I mean, that's 83, but sometimes the numbers are kind of hard to tell. So what I did is I decided to replace it. So I bought a replacement. And they look like this when they're not attached to the wall. And the wires go in here. And buying a new one helps you figure out what you need to do to replace it. It has this little thing that holds it on. And what this does is it slips inside of this um, little keyway here. So that little... Um, that little uh, ring locks inside of here and holds it. So that means this pops up. And it also means the wires are over here and they go through the wall. But that also means that the wires are behind that carpet and they're kind of smished down behind the carpet. So I'm going to have to access those to give me some wire to be able to pull it. I'm going to have to pull the carpet away a bit and then so I can access this, take a picture of the wire placement and uh, and then get the new one, put the wires in the same locations. And before I do that, I need to kill all of the power in the casita, both the 110 and the 12 volt, just to be sure. This is a 12 volt thermostat. Um, so the 12 volt would probably do it, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to turn off the electricity, the casita, and I'm going to turn off the battery. So there's no 12 volt supply going to this thermostat. So that's the plan and I'm going to replace it so that then when we're, uh, adjusting the thermostat, we can, um, see what the numbers are. So... And I believe this is like the direct replacement. It looks it looks like it is. Uh, and the numbers match up. So um, that's the project. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the electricity. Okay, I want to show you what I did. I cleared out the stuff in the cabinet. We carry a toaster oven and some items, uh, cooking items in here. Uh, basically what you have to do is you have to peel back the carpet and I've kind of done this already and you see there's wires and you peel it back and there's the hole where the thermostat is and you need to get it to where you can have some slack in the wire so what I think I've got enough slack now so I can take off the thermostat pull it out take off the wires and like I said I'm going to take a picture of the wire placement and basically put it back exactly like it was um, and so just wanted to show you what you have to do you have to peel the carpet back get the wires where you can have some slack to be able to pull them out and put them in and then you basically glue this back in but I wanted to show you while I have the light on if you lift this up, it comes off and you can see the wires and you can see the little round jobs that that thing attaches to it. So it basically slips up and disconnects that way. So there we go. It's ready to go. Okay, I've turned off the electricity. Now I've pulled the thermostat out where I have slack. I was able to pull the wires through. We can see what the um, wire configuration is right there. And I'm going to take a picture of it. 
I think I've taken one, I think. I'm going to make sure. But now I can disconnect those wires, put on the new ones, and put it back on. Here is how the wires are as it comes from the factory. Um, and what I'll show you is it's uh, starting from right to left. It's red wire and then blue and black wires are twisted together. That goes into the second slot. There's another small black wire, a green wire, a brown wire, a white wire, and a bigger black wire on the end. And that's how it comes from the factory. Okay, I got the wires hooked up. And what you have to do is you have to put them back like they were. And they slide in sideways. And you have to press these little buttons to open the hole to get them to slide in. And then they lock in place. So it's a little tricky. It helps to have a, somebody holding a light uh, for you or having, and Katie held the light, and we were able to get all of the wires back in the same place. So they're all hooked up. I'm going to restore power to the casita, and then we'll see where we're at. I just wanted to show you that I turned on the heat and the heat works you can hear it running and the temperature inside of here is 69 and i turned it a little warmer than that so it looks like the thermostat is working correctly see you in the next video